If you fear the daily commute to work, today's your chance to avoid the stress and get on your bike. Across the country, people are being urged to leave the car at home and use pedal power on Ride to Work Day. Now, organisers say it's good for the environment and has pretty good health benefits as well. And this morning we've sent our reporter Tony Nichols to find out more. Over to you, Tony. Good morning, Michael. Yes, National Ride to Work Day is in its sixth year this year. It's estimated that more than 100,000 people will be on their bikes riding to work today, doing the commute. Here at Fed Square, we have the police on hand engraving bikes for security. They're engraving people's driver's licence numbers on their bikes for free. And also the Australian Physiotherapy Association is fitting people to their bikes ergonomically so people can avoid injuries. There's free breakfast as well. Joining us now is the Ambassador, Sarah Wilson. And Sarah, how are you enjoying the morning? Oh, I'm very, very encouraged. Really encouraged to see so many people here. Um, yeah, and, and riding to work. It's terrific, isn't it? Tell me, uh, tell me about your history on your bike at home. Wow, well, I've been riding a bike for 33 years. Um, I've only owned a car for six or seven years of my life, so I've been riding to work a hell of a lot in my lifetime, including during my time um, editing magazines, which was always an interesting experience, turning up, you know, in, in heels um, and a dress and, and, and whatever I was wearing for the day. Well, tell me about that battle, because obviously uh, some of us commute into the city, we'd like to wear a suit, uh, and women sometimes like to look glamorous as well. Yeah. Uh, high heels on bikes, I mean, how do you do it? It's completely possible. Um, I think the biggest thing, the biggest deterrent for people riding to work is they actually stall at what to wear. They don't want to wear lycra. And the idea of having to get changed and carry their gear um, is actually a real impediment. Um, if you can actually just get used to the idea of wearing stretchy clothing and, you know, and, and riding in heels, um, it's completely possible. I've done it for, for two decades. <laughs> What about the safety, the high vis, the helmets and everything else you need as well? What's your take on that? Oh, look, I think the biggest beauty about riding to work is keeping it simple. I don't like to overdo it. Of course, you have to wear a helmet. Um, but beyond that, um, as long as you ride in a really visible way, um, I think you can sort of drop all of that gear. Um, you know, some people like their lycra. I personally don't. I like to keep it simple. OK, then. Now, what sort of message is today trying to send to governments, trying to send to decision makers? Well, I think the thing is they can actually see just how many people are really interested in this kind of thing. I mean, the number of riders riding to work has increased 20% around the country year on year. And I think one of the most inc really encouraging facts is that 60% of new riders from last year are still riding today. So I think when they see that kind of thing happening, they see people wanting the bike lanes, you know, the Demand will create the supply and it's happening slowly. Okay, great, Sarah. I'll let you put your bike away and thanks for chatting to us this morning. Absolute pleasure. Enjoy. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Sarah Wilson there, the ambassador for National Ride to Work Day. Tony Nichols, thank you, who'll be cycling back to work as we speak. Now, I can pretty much do anything in heels, but ride a bike, I don't think so. No, no, it takes a particular <laughs> skill. Well, you're speaking from experience, Michael. Oh.